All right, welcome back guys. So in this video, we're going to be seeing how you can use this Q&A section and uh, make your bot intelligent day by day, day by day, every single day. Um, uh, this Q&A, what it exactly is, let's first understand that and then I will show you uh, why you should be configuring it uh, like this. Uh, I'll show you my actual bot. So in one browser, I have just opened up my actual bot, my live account, my pro account and on the other page, this one on the other browser, I have this dummy account where I'm going to show you step by step everything. Uh, so right over here, as you can see, I have configured everything over here. All right. Uh, so I'm going to go over here. So what happens when you click on new Q&A, it will open up a block and then you can do some of the other things. But before we configure this, let's understand how and then when you actually use this Q&A. So let's suppose uh, if somebody is interacting with your bot, I'll just uh, visit my bot. So this is the direct link which I have created and obviously I'll be teaching you how to create those kind of custom link which will land up uh, to your bot. So I'll click on get started and before I do that, let me just uh, minimize this uh, video because we don't actually require that right now. Uh, this uh, click on get started and now my bot is interacting with me and I can click on all of these buttons or options which it is showing up and blah 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 let me think so assume that one visitor is right now interacting with, uh, with my bot and all of a sudden he or she is no more interested in clicking all of these things he simply types he or she simply types a message let's say I hate you Prateek I, <laughs> by the way, I, I am sure you don't hate me and please don't hate me, love me. All right. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, look at this. I simply typed, I hate you Prateek. And now it says, sorry, I didn't understand that as I'm improving daily. You can select one of the options and maybe anything you would like to tap over here. So this is the common phrase which I have uh, configured. Or let's suppose I say, uh, you are ugly. I mean, anything. All right, you are ugly. Once again, it will be the same. Or let's say I am beautiful. I mean, anything, anything which is not configured right now. And then it might say, okay, let's skip that now. So uh, what it means and where you can see all of these things. So if I open up the board, once again, that is not being configured. And if I actually show you my live board, then in my live board, I have some of the other things over here. And uh, if I refresh, you would be able to see um, these are the unanswered questions. So these unanswered questions will keep on populating with all of these uh, types of phrases. You are ugly, I hate you Prati. the things which is not configured in the bot. Now, once we start getting all of these uh, unanswered questions, we can actually see that uh, people are actually writing or uh, doing some of the other things frequently. So we can actually automate those things for our bot. Let's suppose if uh, continuously people are saying, let's say, I love you Prateek, I love you Prateek, I love you Prateek, all right, inside the bot, some of the other ways. In like three months, if I'm getting those phrase uh, like uh, 10 to 25 times, then I might just rethink to automate that process because if in I love you Prateek, uh, if my default phrase is going on, then it is not good. It is a bad sign for my brand. So I want to automate that. I want to make my bot a little bit more intelligent. So that when somebody in future says, I love you Prateek, then all of a sudden my automated message, which is there will come up, but in a good way, not in this way. All right. So what I do is I go into this Q&A and I would uh, rather let, let's actually configure. I will do that in our dummy bot, right? In our dummy bot over here. So let's delete this. Let's do it again. I'll click on new Q&A. And now that I know that people are writing I love you Prateek a lot, so I'll just say I love you Prateek. I'll hit enter. And uh, I can also have variations. Let's say I love you. All right. So if somebody is typing I love you or I love you Prateek, then what do I want to reply? So let's say I will say I love you too. And let's configure it with some smiley. I'll also add one more answer. So you can have uh, as many answers you want. So I love you too. All right. 
Thanks for your love. All right, and that's it. Uh, one more. Thank you so much. All right, and now I want to actually randomize this. I want to actually randomize this. So when somebody is saying I love you, it might just uh, shoot up I love you too. If uh, next time somebody is saying I love you or I love you Prati, it might be just uh, saying thanks for your love. So if you want to randomize, you can just check mark this random. And now this is configured as an automated process. So let me actually show you in the actual bot. This is my live bot where I have I love you Prati, and I will actually add it in edit uh, this particular one uh, in front of you. So I love you as well. I want to have that as well. And I would add one more answer over here. Thank you so much. Uh, let's add another one. I love you more. Like anything. Right? And you can actually add pages as well. If you have a specific page, which I will show you how do you create and how you can interlink over here later on once you understand the pages, once we create some pages over here. But you can actually select page and then automatically that complete automation would go over here. But I will just delete this and let's keep one, two, three, four, five, uh, five answers, right? And now it is actually live. So what will happen is in my actual board, now if I say, I love you Prateek, it says, thanks a ton, you are great. Let's say once again, I'll say, or, or let's say I love you. I love you more. Once again, write, I love you. I love you more, okay. Let's see if it randomizes. I love you more, okay. I love you. Thank you so much. So it is once again randomizing, all right? I love you, I love you more. Let's write, I love you Prateek. Thank you so much. So this is the power of uh, Q&A, all right? This is the power of Q&A. And now once all your unanswered questions slowly and steadily are populating over here, you can just actually say ignore or you can just have that thing over here. So I, I, I'm sure you get the just out of uh, what this Q&A is and how you can use this Q&A section for your benefit and how you can use to make your bot intelligent. So that's it for this particular one and I'll see you in the next one.